say that Krishna is present within the spiritual, within the heart of the living entity. Krishna is present everywhere. As a person or as an energy? In his energy. Also person. Person we cannot see with the present time. But energy we can feel. Free at this point, more and more. So, when fully realized, then this bus that everything is Brahma, sadvam khalu vidam Brahma. That advanced devotee, he does not see anything except Krishna. Hmm. Father, is, is there an actual difference between the material energy and the spiritual energy? Yes, yeah. there are many differences. The same example, electricity, so many things are watching. Difference of energy. Huh? Even the dictaphone is working, electricity. Uh, but the same energy, electricity. That's what Krishna says, Aham Sarva Sabha. He is the original. It's explained by Bhagavad Gita that mm-hmm. one changed body uh, during the lifetime. But we see that a black man never becomes white, or that there's a constant, there's something constant in, in the body, though it changes. Mm-hmm. What is it? How come this is a body, but still we can recognize someone? From his youth to his old age. So, when you further advance, you'll find there is no distinction between black and white. Like a flower is coming out, there are many colors, but it is coming from the same source. As, as such, there is no such difference. But to make it beautiful, there are so many colors. Mm-hmm. Like in the sun sign, there are seven colors. And from the seven colors, multi colors are coming out. Mm-hmm. Only the one color, white. And then so many colors coming. Is that clear or no? Srila Prabhupada, if Krishna has created everything and everything is submitted to Krishna's will, can we really say what is good or bad? There is no good or bad, it is mental concord. But on the whole, in the material world means everything bad. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Yeah. Uh-huh.